Okay, so I got a question for you. What if that is the last thing that you ever saw? That's a picture that I took, part of a video. I just cut it. Only way to really show it is to do this here. Got it on another device, but it's in my mount. So we're going to move that and we'll set y'all up here. Um, basically, I'm just here, you know, at a truck stop doing my thing. There we go. It's a better cleaned up view. Got a guy over here fixing to leave out with his headlights on. You can see both headlights if I maybe if I move all this stuff. Anyways, um, so basically, you know, I'm in a truck stop, and um, right now I'm messing with. Uh, computer here I'm in Missouri Bridgeton Missouri and um, shower number five the driver didn't come out um, They said he uh, said he was in there. You know, I was talking to some guys here. He was in there for roughly, they figure, seven hours, I believe it was. And then it took another two hours for the coroner to show up and come and get him. Um, they don't use that shower now because even though it's been cleaned up they um they don't want to uh nobody wants to clean it afterwards you know even if somebody took a shower in there they nobody wants to uh be the person to clean up the shower so they're they're not using shower number five um so uh that's that's really rough you know when you think about it, nobody's promised tomorrow. Nobody's promised today. Um, any one of us could kick out in the last, next five minutes. We don't know. You know. So I'm just going to chill out for a second and kick back. I was just going to do a review of a cigar and, uh, just kind of relax and then uh what i was i was having some work done to my truck when i found out what all had transpired because i was going to go on and get a shower and, you know talk to a driver so i was going to grab a shower real quick he's just uh you know just told me what happened there and number five he says that they probably won't give it to you though so he says uh but yeah, so uh, a driver went home. You know, I, I tell you, you got to think about the people that he left behind and all that stuff. You got to think about your own mortality. And um, it definitely makes you stop and think. What if that's the last thing you saw? Because, I mean... I've talked to some other drivers that have told me, specifically one told me, and I, I thought it was, actually, I thought it was pretty awesome. He says he's he's going to drive his truck straight to the morgue. He's going to back it up. That's going to be his last stop. <laughs> That's how long he's going to be driving. He ain't going to quit. And I'm like, yeah, you know, I get the sentiment there, you know, uh, keep trucking well. You just really never know how or when it's going to happen. 
Um, and like I was saying, I'm going to grab a cigar real quick. I have a uh, shorty that's left over here. And uh, might try to relight what's left of it, but I smoked this thing till it was nothing. It was a uh, brick house. See, I came out of the truck. I was just wanting to relax. And I didn't even think about doing a review on a cigar or nothing else after all that. But I just wanted to smoke a cigar. But I will say this. Um, the uh, Get a little more light. I don't know if it'll work. The uh, brick house. Maduro. Get a light on it. This is one that's new. That right there. There we go. Yeah. Breakout Maduro. Yeah. Uh, it's hard to. Uh, It's hard to describe the Brickhouse Maduro. It's a, um, it's definitely got a wood taste to it. I rate my cigars on a 1 to 10. So just so you know, I'm giving that one about a, I'd say about a 7. And I'm kind of stingy with my numbers there. So seven to a seven and a half it's a it's a really good cigar anything over a five i will definitely smoke but it was my go-to after my encounter in here Yeah, it's a good cigar. Relit that piece of what's left here. I tell you, I take the bands off of mine and, uh, you know, somebody was asking me how far I smoke them. I smoke them until they are to the band and then I pull the band off and um, I smoke it till it's like gone because, I mean, if you're going to pay for it, might as well use it that's how far I've gotten down on this one and that's low and the only reason I've had a problem with the wrapper is because I put it back in the uh, can there I got a can with a top out of it and uh, use a military can opener for that for an ashtray because they don't come with ashtrays in these trucks for some reason they think all of a sudden truck drivers quit smoking or something uh, I don't smoke cigarettes but I smoke cigars you know but, uh, yeah, I'd give it, I'd give it a good seven. Good construction. I use a V cut, so it's always a good draw. But, so, uh, like I said, I was just going to do a cigar review, and I didn't expect for all that to happen. I, I took on, uh, had a tire plugged and patched. Did a video on that, didn't drop it. Just thinking about this right here, and uh, went on and smoked most of the cigar. But I have another one just like it, but... Uh, I try to at least smoke one halfway before I'm going to give any kind of a review on it. And like I said, I'd say a good solid seven. Uh, maybe to seven and a half, but I like a brick house Maduro. I've got, uh, I got a new cigar shop down in Georgia. For if you ever go down to Georgia, um, they say the devil went down there. I don't know if he went down there and picked up any cigars, but the new cigar shop down in Georgia 
is uh, in a town called Carrollton, Georgia, on Highway 27, Highway 27, and the name of it's Boss Cigars. I'll get you a card and get a light on it because that's what I'm working with right now, Boss Cigars, okay? And a side view with the info is right there. Mm -hmm. We might have to uh, zoom on that a bit. Let me try to hit this. There we go. It says Park Street, South Park Street, but it's Highway 27. And it says Log Cabin. Look for us on the side of the log cabin. Yeah, they are the log cabin. They're the back of the log cabin. That place is comfortable. And um, they're super nice people. So there you go. Boss Cigars, Highway 27, south of I-20. Um, it's down past the bridge. On the right, it would be just immediately past the auto zone. So there's that. Anyway, it's difficult to find a cigar shop. Evidently, I had one down in Georgia, and they gave me a... I don't know if you would call it a not really a run around they moved and they changed owners like twice and that's what happens with cigar shops and then um, now they're saying well we don't carry quorum and um, I like quorum Q U O R U M I hit a light on one of them. That's this one right here. Q U O R U M. Okay. And uh, these are good cigars. And this is like a Maduro. It's a dark wrapper. It's darker than his light shows. Quorum. Anyways, so basically, um, they said they don't carry them. And I said, well, can you get them? And they said, no. I said, well, why not? Everybody else in the whole planet can get them. Um, you know, you, you have a problem ordering them? He said, well, my distributor. I'm like, oh, boy, here we go. So somebody's done, held the hand of a distributor to the point that now they can't take care of the customer. And decided they're just going to carry something from one distributor. And I'm going to tell you something. People do that, and that's fine. But it's not smart, you know. Uh, like I went somewhere else. That's what happens. You will lose. You will lose business um, if you think you're going to specialize and whatever and make a deal with him. Well, you might have made it like deal with the devil you know he went down to Georgia I don't know if he bought any cigars or not but as I was saying you don't want to do that so any cigar shops out there listening I know I got a couple of places that do that order what people want and deal with more than one distributor regardless of what they want to tell you they gonna make you a deal and if you just deal with them you don't have to just deal with one distributor uh, I mean look I got a box of cigars well you can't see that well but I'll tell you what I can guarantee you this thing's full okay and uh, just to clarify that complete with uh, burning sticks and that's a humidor thing so yeah I got some cigars and uh, it's because he carried quorum and I went to him so that's proof right there that people will go somewhere else you do not have that big or good of a following no matter who you are 
if you don't take care of the customer. So, with that, <clears throat> got the radio on for a second, but uh, I'll tell you, you know, back to what I was saying earlier, it's all a mystery when we're going to go and life is short and you never know when the last the the next time if, if it's going to be the last time that you key up on this thing here you know you might be signing off for good so get the stuff done that you want to get done uh because i'm sure that driver didn't know it was his time and he went home. I want y'all to stay safe out there. Be careful in your travels. Call the people you care about. Let them know you're okay. And that you care about them. And with that, I'm out. Peace.